All right, meteorologist Chelsea Ingram, it's the perfect weather for that Maryland cream of crab soup or maybe even just a ball game at M&T Bank. It's really great weather tonight for the football game, that's for sure, Max. And in fact, it was a really nice day today with 58 degrees. It's our official high temperature for the day, 5 degrees above average for this time of year. Here's where things stand right now in Catonsville. It's right around 49 degrees, 48 in Dundalk, 46 Jarrettsville, 44 degrees in Aberdeen. And as we head throughout the remainder of the evening, here's what you can expect while you're at the game. Temperatures are going to be dropping significantly. Probably by the time you're leaving, we'll see numbers in the upper 30s, so that's why it's important to dress in those layers. You even need the scarf when you're at the game tonight. You saw Mark Viviano all bundled up in his live shot earlier. Heading into the overnight, we'll fall close to freezing for a lot of locations. Some of the burbs a little bit chillier, dropping below freezing upper 20s. Hampstead, Sykesville right around 29 degrees. This means you got to bundle up at the bus stop tomorrow morning. Even the extra jacket on top of the long sleeves is something you need for the kids tomorrow. Temperatures may Get it into the mid 40s by the afternoon. It's going to be a chilly day, kind of reminiscent of what we would expect in January. Not just chilly in the Baltimore area, but in the burbs as well. We're looking at high temps right around 41 degrees in Manchester, 44 Moncton, 45 Kingsville, 46 as we head into tomorrow afternoon in Bowley's quarters. And on top of that, winds are going to be picking up. So this is your sustained wind forecast. We'll have gusts closer to 25, 30 miles per hour out of the north and west heading into tomorrow afternoon. So that's that's going to make it feel yeah, just a little bit chillier out there when you factor in the wind chill. So with the winds, we're giving you the yellow light bulb. Not the best day for holiday decorating. It's just kind of hard to string lights, you know, when it's a little windy and gusty outside. But by Tuesday, looking better. A little bit of a breeze Tuesday afternoon, but overall much better day to do some holiday decorating. We know it's a big week for it. Wednesday looking good as well. There's one little hiccup in the forecast during the next three days, but it's going to happen during the overnight and morning hours. Let's talk about it. High pressure and control tomorrow, and as it builds in, that's actually what's going to generate our winds throughout the afternoon. Clouds will increase out ahead of a system that arrives Monday night into Tuesday morning, and it will be cold enough for precipitation to fall in the form of snowfall. It's not going to be a lot. It's a really quick moving system. Not a lot of moisture associated with it, but look what happens Tuesday morning. This is 6 a.m. A couple of snowflakes possible for our north and western suburbs and then we get clearing and drying. So we're not talking about a lot of snowfall at all. Again, best chance for any accumulation will be up into Pennsylvania, really along the Maryland PA line, otherwise also into western Maryland. So really not expecting much in the way of impacts here in central Maryland. Here's your seven day forecast. So we're looking at temperatures that are going to be uh, very mild as we head into the middle of the week. 52 on Wednesday, then up to 56 Thursday max. Partly sunny on Friday with temperatures trending near 60 degrees. So the ups and downs continue. Back to you.